Hi, thank you for joining me. I'm Victoria Stiles, a makeup artist based in Washington, D.C., working in New York and internationally for celebrities, red carpet events, fashion, and beauty. For more information on my work, take a look at my website at www.victoriastyles.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a quick smoky eye. This is my version of a smoky eye. It's not dramatic, more like clean and pretty. So stay tuned. This is my model Kate Crest. First, I'm going to start off with Strobe Liquid. This is from MAC Cosmetics. I'm going to place the Strobe Liquid all over her face, blending throughout. Next, I'm going to put a little bit of eye cream around her eye area to apply foundation to her skin. This foundation is from a company called Face Atelier. I'm using a foundation brush from a collection called BillyBeeBeauty.com. I'm using downward motions to apply the foundation all over the face. You can see that strobe liquid shining through. It's a beautiful underlay. Next up, I'm going to groom the brows. I feel the brows shape out the face. Clean mascara wand and gently brush the brows up combing them into a shape. You can already see them take shape. Now since we're doing a smoky eye, I'm not going to do a, a dark, dramatic brow. I feel like that would take away from the smoky eye. So I'm using a soft brown shape. I'm going to feather it through with a, an angled brush. And again, just following my guide. Guide being her natural brow. And I'm just going to use a plain white shadow, just up underneath the brow, the top of the brow bone. I'm going to contour with a soft brown shade. Shimmery bronze color on her lid. I'm keeping the shadows neutral. Even though we're doing a smoky eye, I'm going to show you my smoky eye technique using these neutral shades. Starting from the lash line and working my way up through the lid. Next I'm going to apply black eyeliner. This is just a black eyeliner pencil from Lord & Berry. You can find Lord & Berry products in New York or lordandberry.com. I'm going to smudge the eyeliner along the lash line and it's not a perfect line and I'm almost like just sketching it along the lash line but you can see I'm, I'm pushing the skin up a lot of times people will pull out I always pull the skin upwards because what that does is it exposes the skin that's closest to the lashes I'm going to take a flat eyeliner brush and just start pushing that color up and out, smudging the, the lash line there. Alright, so we've smudged out the liner. So it's not a definitive line, but it's just smudgy. I'm going to take my eyeliner pencil and rim the bottom lash line look up on the inside so it's right along the membrane and I'm going to take just a brown shadow my liner brush press it up underneath the lashes on the bottom and almost bringing down whatever eyeliner is sort of remaining underneath there and smudging it out Curling the lashes and lots of mascara. I like to have my client look down and I start from the root and sort of wiggle the brush on up to the tip. I'm gonna go onto the cheeks. Now the rest of the face is going to be kept really soft, pretty, clean, natural. 
I'm going to put a little hint of color on her cheeks. This is a flash color palette from Makeup Forever. You get a lot of really fun colors. I'm going to use this pink one right here and just pop a little color onto her cheek. I know what you're thinking. It's probably like, you're probably thinking, oh, nice cloud effect. What we do is just blend this out. And do a nude lip. Just because they're nude doesn't mean that they have to completely disappear. I'm going to use oak lip pencil and define the lip line just a bit. I don't like a, a really harsh lip line. I feel that look is very dated. So I'm just gently blending a little bit of liner along the lips. I'm going to take a neutral lip color almost flesh tone place it along the lip here blending with the lip brush once again thank you for joining me i hope you've learned some new techniques in makeup for more tips and tricks, you can visit my blog at www.makeupartistbackstage.com. For more information on my services, please visit my site at www.victoriastyles.com.